Happy Monday, everybody. Day 17, Monday, April 19th. This is page 29 and 30. It's back to math time. We have a crossword puzzle to do today, but before we do that, we got to remember it. Shout out Monday to say hi and thank you to all the people that reached out. Email, phone, text, clever, blackboard, mafia. And today, look at your email because I'm announcing virtual classrooms. Okay, now that we're going to be closed for school for the rest of the year, most of your teachers will be offering you virtual classrooms. I'd like you to practice it today. Go to the email, see the link, literally just click on it and I'm gonna be live in that virtual classroom from one to two today and one to two tomorrow. Get some practice so you've seen it. Just drop in, wave and say hi. Don't have to stay long, but I want you to get used to seeing how a virtual classroom looks. All right, let's go to our shout outs. So first thing we gotta do is get our megaphone and we'll get our siren for shout outs. Okay, and we have to have our noisemaker. Remember our different bells to celebrate our successes? All right. Got our little drum set and ready for our announcement today. We want to shout out to Morgan, Austin, Caden, Kiana, Clara, Anthony, Abby, Trey, Pilar, Lucas, Caleb, Ari, Sydney, Kaylee, Trent, Kieran, Mackenzie, Autumn, Grace, Mr. Kakuda, Caitlin, Cole, Christy, Madison, Hunter, Joshua, Malia. Hi, Malia. It's been a while. Ryan, Cosette, Brianna, Lexi, Ronan, Braden, Abigail, Sierra, Tanya, Shippy, Kyle, Mr. Viegas, Lloyd, Sienna, Bree. Special shout outs to the folks that came to the virtual classroom last week. Cody, Tanya, Alyssa, Ryan, Elise, and Mackenzie. All right, let's do our drum roll. You can tell I'm not a drummer, but I wanted to celebrate you reaching out to us and me reaching out to you. This is Monday. I'm gonna reset the board and get ready for our crossword puzzle today. See you in a minute. All right, welcome back. Crossword day. We're on day 17 of the 2020 series, right? 20 lessons, 20 days, 20 minutes. We're wrapping up this first set of lessons. We wanted to have a crossword puzzle. This is a specially designed crossword puzzle because it's all about circles. This week, we're actually discussing cross sections. If you slice a circle, what shape do you get? If you slice a sphere, what shape do you get? Does it matter how you slice it? That's gonna to be tomorrow's lesson, okay? Next week, when we start our May 2020 series, we're actually going to be coming up with the equation of a circle. So we thought this was a great opportunity to bring back all that vocabulary, all right? Now with all crossword puzzle, there's always a couple of key words that if you can get those, it kind of makes everything else a little bit simpler. The two toughest ones for me were problems one and 12 on the vertical. What does vertical mean? Down, okay, so let's write down. Instead of saying across and down, they wrote vertical, right? Vocab? All right, so down. One down. Place where tangent intersects a circle. Place where tangent intersects a circle. Three words, 15 letters. Do you know what it is? Dee, dee, 
Okay, so more of the drum roll, right? Place where tangent intersects a circle is the point of tangency. I don't like it when crossword puzzles have three words to make it right. So I found that one difficult. Point of tangent C. So make sure you spell it right. And that's one vertical or one down. Okay. The other one that we actually didn't learn in class the way that it's described on here because that was right after Pi Day, just before we had to leave for the first closure. 12 in the vertical, 12 down. Okay. A way to measure angles and arcs that is based upon the arc length. The ratio of the arc length to the radius. Unfortunately, I didn't teach that to you yet because we ran out of time. It has seven letters. Now, if you Google ratio of arc length to radius of a circle, you will actually get the answer. And in this case, it's seven letters, and the word is radians, right? We clicked on the calculator, we had to check mode, radians or degrees, radians. Cool. So, I think if you have those two, you can get the rest of them. So enjoy the day. Day 17, page 29 and 30 with a crossword puzzle. Tomorrow when we come back, we're going to watch a couple of videos about cross sections. Okay? Cross sections. If we take a shape and we slice it, what do we create? What would that shape look like? depending on how we sliced it, all right? This is what I leave you with. Please check your emails today. In your email, you're gonna notice that my signature at the bottom, David Montecuco, my phone number, my email, and my virtual classroom. Now that we're gonna be closed through June, you're gonna see lots of teachers offering virtual classrooms. My virtual classroom is set up. You just click on the link. If I'm there, you'll see me. I officially have office hours from one to two on Monday. That's gonna be mathematics day. You're gonna get emails. The state has stepped in and the school district has stepped in and says, Monday is for math. So Monday from one to two. Tuesday from one to two, I also have formal virtual classroom because I've got the ICANN kids, right? And the ALE kids. You can also set up an appointment where we can just talk in the virtual classroom also. But I'm hoping today, after you watch the video, click on the link, just stop in, say hi. We're not gonna do anything formal. I just want you to see how easy it is, especially if you have a phone. Literally just get the email, click on the link, poof. You're in the classroom, we wave at each other, we say hi, and we'll move on. All right, this wraps up day 17, the Monday, of the 2020 series. We'll see you tomorrow for cross sections of shapes. Bye bye.